Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and today we are doing book recommendations based on the color green. I haven't done one of these in quite a while so I thought now is a good time to do it. Starting off, I want to preface this video by saying four of these books that I'm recommending I've actually read. They're going to be the first four books that I touch on. And then there, I think there's two books that I want to talk about, but I have not personally read yet, but I do own them and I've heard people talk about them or vice versa. So again, I just want to preface that four of these are books that I have actually read. So I will tell you my opinion on them briefly, but yeah, I'm just, just, you know. So the first book that I want to talk about is Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher. So this is the second book within her Dream Million Billionaire series. The series is about a <laughs> a will or an inheritance that all three of these brothers are getting. This book is about the second brother. His name is Declan. He is very business, very posh, very cold, does not give any fucks about anybody. So, and then there's his assistant and she's very bubbly she just she definitely i think she's definitely the sunshine within this grumpy sunshine if i had to say it was a grumpy sunshine but i'm pretty sure it is i'm not 100 percent, so like don't quote me on that but it's about declan and iris iris is his assistant she's been working with him forever and the terms of declan's inheritance or what he needs to do in order to get his inheritance is to be married and then have kids. So it definitely turns into an arranged marriage trope. It's a lot, but not a lot at the same time. My personal opinion of it, it was okay. Um, out of all of the brothers, Cal was definitely my favorite, which is the third book. And I talked about him in my book recommendations, but blue edition. He's definitely still my favorite, but Declan still has his own like little quirks and personalities that I do think are good. I just think he's not my personal favorite, but I knew know that a lot of people did like him. So I'm just gonna spring it in here. The next book that I wanna talk about is If Love Had a Price by Anna Huang. I just talked about Anna Huang so much last week, but you're gonna hear me talk about her again because if there's one book that I love within the If Love series by Anna Huang, it is this book. This book is about Chris, who is the rich friend within this four-girl friendship or the entire group that went to Shanghai. Sorry, my cat is on my lap, but... <laughs> so Chris is the rich friend, and you kind of see Chris trying or Chris's book kind of starting before it starts within the first and this... Definitely in the first book, where she starts spending a lot of money, da 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 if you've read it, you get it if you didn't read it. But anyways, we're talking about If Love Had a Price. And If Love Had a Price is the third book within the If Love series. So there is some things that I don't want to say because it just kind of spoils the series in itself. But I digress on that part. The male main character is Nate Reynolds. And Nate is actually a actor or an up-and-coming actor. And he has his own issues, his own problems, his own little conundrums that definitely make their relationship I want to say stronger but also gives it its twists and turns but overall this was my favorite book within the If Love series and I will never stop raving about Nate and Chris's relationship just because I feel like to a certain point they understand each other and I feel like for them their relationship was so it was meaningful on a different level because they didn't know each other until they knew each other and it was just so good. The next book is another Anna Huang book, and that is Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. Now, I love Anna Huang, and I will, I can't say it enough. Love her. <laughs> but within the Twisted series, Twisted Lies ended up being my second favorite. This is about Stella, who is an influencer. She is one of the four friends within the Twisted series on the girl side. Um, she's an influencer. She posts fashion content. She's very into fashion and that sort of world or realm. Then there is Christian, who Christian is a CEO of his own security company. He is very big on it. He's very cold. He doesn't want to talk to nobody, do nothing with nobody. He's fine by himself. Um, Christian definitely has his own issues and it's definitely very, very obvious. I feel like if anyone is that standoffish, they definitely have issues, but this is my opinion. Um, 
overall, again, this was my second favorite. This book was a slow burn to the max, like, to the max. I cannot express that enough. And I love Stella and I love Christian. I personally thought that the third act breakup that happened within this book wasn't that big of a deal, but I talk about that more within my deep dive of Anna Huang. And if you guys know, I don't really like to give my opinion that much because I do want you guys to read the book and form your own opinion about the situation or the book itself. And I definitely don't want to give spoilers to what happens, but I'm just saying, read it for yourself. I definitely really, really liked it still. I'm one of those people who likes slow burns, but I also can do like a quick romance. So again, one slow burn, whoa. <laughs> One slow burn every once in a while is definitely good for the brain, definitely good for the soul, so I definitely recommend. The next book I want to talk about is actually Heartstopper, the third volume specifically. Now, this book is yellow on the cover, I'm pretty sure, but it is green on the spine, so I counted it. And Heartstopper is about Nick and Charlie. Nick and Charlie are two boys who go to a all-boys school. Charlie is out as gay and Nick is not and Nick is kind of discovering himself discovering he's going on his little self-discovery journey um when he meets Charlie and things kind of go about this series talks about how it is being other than the norm and in this case it would be two gay boys in school and going through that and how they are treated and how they are perceived and how they deal with it and how it comes when it's the family aspect and basically it talks about things that like me I wouldn't understand because I'm a female if that makes sense. I think it's really nice to have this. I think they're adorable. This story is absolutely adorable. I love Nick and Charlie. I, I love them. They're absolutely adorable and that dog is adorable. The next book I want to talk about is A Court of Mist and Fury. Now I actually have read A Court of Mist and Fury and I'm counting it in this in this video because technically it's like a teal green and if you look at the other series there is a blue book so I'm counting this one as green but I digress on that aspect. My point is we're talking about A Court of Mist and Fury aka the second book within the Axar series. Now this book is when things get super duper interesting. At least for me, this was the book that made me want to read more of the series, which is why I really, really want to start reading Akawar, which is the third book in the series. We're not talking about that. So A Court of Mist and Fury is basically the continuation of Akatar. Now I say that very vaguely because I don't want to give too much away, but this is the start of Farah and Reese's storyline. And I'm just gonna keep it at that. I think that this book is super interesting. There's so many twists and turns. The ending of this book is very much give me more. Like that song by Britney Spears, give me, give me. That's what this is giving, okay? I want more, I want more. I want more twists and turns. I want more of everything and I need it now. So that's why I say you read this book. There's definitely smut in this, but I definitely think this is a slow burn to the, like not to the max, but to like the middle because there's definitely a lot of flirtation in this book but again I love Reese I'm on my deathbed for Reese to be fair I haven't finished the series but you know what I mean okay and then the last book that I want to talk about is actually a book called Collide now I follow this author on Instagram and I was seeing every single post, every single thing that had to do with this book coming out. And when I saw it at the bookstore, I was like, I had to get it. Not only did I have to get it because this cover is absolutely adorable. I don't even know if you guys saw that. But you see it now, there's sprayed edges and I literally cannot. So we're going to talk about this book because it's absolutely adorable. So this book, I'm just going to read the back. When Summer Preston's professor issues her with an ultimatum, she finds herself in an unexpected collision course with hockey captain Aiden Crawford. Summer hates everything about hockey for good reason, but she isn't going to let that stand in the way of her becoming a sports psychologist. Never heard that one before, so that's actually, actually, okay. Aiden loves being the hockey captain, except when his team's reckless mistakes risk jeopardizing the entire season. When coach puts him forward for research paper as punishment he has no choice but to accept. Summer can't stand his boss approach to life and Aiden doesn't get her uptight scheduled one. They're off to a rocky start but provoking each other 
it turns out it's what they do best. As sparks fly, neither of them wants to give in. Can they get everything they want, including each? Honestly, this sounds super cute. I actually didn't know that this was going to be like an enemies to lover or an academically enemies to lover. Um, I kind of love that this is actually like a forced proximity relationship as well because if there's one thing I used to say, it was that I hated forced proximity, but I 100% take that back because as I've been reading more and more forced proximity things, I just, I just, I love it. Like, I absolutely love it. The idea of accidentally being forced in a proximity with somebody who you have n hate or, like, interest in is like, <laughs> okay, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Anyways, um... So, I definitely recommend this book, even though I haven't read it. I have saw a lot of stuff about this. People have been raving about this book for a while. So, if you haven't already, go read it. And if you have, comment your thoughts down below because, again, I haven't read it, but it's definitely one of the books that I want to read. I'm just not really in a hockey romance mood right now. So, I'm just gonna... Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. A lot of people are not subscribed, and I know, and I see it, but it's fine. Bye! Say hi. hi. She's like, no, I don't.